Introduction to QBasic Learning Plan What is a program? The QBasic Starting QBasic Creating a new program file Writing, running, saving a program Comments, statements, constant and variables Today, my teacher taught me about programs. But I am still a little confused. Why do we write programs? Anything you use on your computer has been written in some kind of computer program. So, we need to write programs. What is a program? A program is a set of instructions that are grouped together to accomplish a task or tasks. The statements in program must be written in sequential order to get the desired output. Each instruction should be written in a separate statement. Commands are the reserved words which are given without the line numbers and it gives immediate output once entered. Example, auto, new, list are commands. A statement is a program of QBasic which is made up of statements arranged logically to complete a task. A QBasic statement can be given with or without the line numbers. Example, print, let, input are the statements. The QBasic QBasic is a programming language developed by Microsoft for use in MS-DOS operating system. It is the successor of early forms of BASIC, beginner's all-purpose symbolic instruction code, a simple programming language for beginning programmers. QB is an ideal programming language for beginners because of its intuitive commands, simple structure and flexibility. It is a well-documented software and hundreds of tutorials and sample programs are available for download on the internet. By programming the computer, you can solve math problems, create art or music and even make new games. It's all up to you. QBasic is high-level programming language, which means that it is written in a language similar to English. Starting QBasic Your computer would be having the QBasic icon on the desktop. So, to open QBasic, double-click on the QBasic icon. A blue screen appears. The QBasic screen is divided into two modes, Status Mode and Program Mode. Status Mode This mode gives the result as soon as the command is entered. Program mode. Instructions are given in the form of a program. The result is given only after running executing the program. Creating a new program file. To start a new program in QBasic, click the file menu and choose new option. Or press Alt plus F for file menu and then N to select new program. A new QBasic windows opens up. Write a program. Let's write a program to display a message on the screen. Type out the following line. Print. QBasic is a programming language. Save a program. The program written by you can be saved for future reference by following the instructions given below. Click on File menu. Select the Save As option. Save As dialog box appears. Type the file name. Click OK. Some more. In QBasic, file will be saved with .bas extension. Some more. Be careful to put quotation marks at the beginning and end of the message, which is to be displayed. Running a program. To run a program, you can press F5 or click on Run menu, then Start. A black screen appears displaying the output. This is the output screen. Commands and Statements. We shall now learn about some commands in QBasic which will help us to write simple programs. Print. It is used to display the output on the screen. Print command can be used in different ways to print different types of output. Syntax. Print messages. Example. Print. Hello, I am your friend. Print numbers. Example. Print 55. Press F5 to run the program. To print a string, always enclose it in double quotes, but to print a number, simply write the number after the print statement without quotation marks. Example 1. Print star. Print star star. Print star star star. Print star 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 star. Print star 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 star. The output appears in separate lines. Example 2. Print 3. Print 33. Print 333. Print 3333. 3, 3, 3. 
print 33333 three, three, three. output end this statement is used at the end of the program when this command is read by the computer it stops processing any further statement syntax and enter constants and variables constants constants in qbasic can be divided into two types numeric constants and string constants numeric constants there are two types of numeric constants real and integer the number used may be written in decimal form such as 6.9 minus 52.76 0 0.095 minus 3269.0 whereas in an integer whole numbers may be written without the decimal point such as 89 minus 132 7698 string constants a string consists of a sequence of characters enclosed in double quote marks strings usually consist of names or address or cities such as computer delhi variables in qbasic you can perform this task by using a variable a variable is a place in the computer memory which has a name and stores data temporarily simply you can say a variable is an entity that stores data needed to be used in a program each program defines different numbers of variables in qbasic variables are of following types numeric variables string variables numeric variables are divided into the following types integer log integer single precision and double precision string variables contain values within the double quotes a dollar sign has to be added to show the string variable items dollar sign is equal to keyboard how to define variables qbasic has special symbols for each variable type but only string type requires the special symbol dollars along with the variable the other types represent numbers and the symbols are not compulsory rules for giving variable names rules for naming a variable variable names can have maximum of 40 characters variable names can have alphabets numbers and decimal points a variable name must begin with a letter a variable name cannot begin with fn or function alphabets for example fn names sign of dollar f numbers etc variable names cannot be reserved words variable names may end with type declaration characters like dollar sign percentage sign and sign exclamation sign and hash sign names address book names game names etc are examples of string variables salary age mark number 1 number 2 fast num roll number etc are examples of numeric variables operators operators are symbols that indicate the type of operation qbasic has to perform on the data or on the values of variables there are four types of operators in qbasic these are arithmetic operators relational operators logical operators and string operator arithmetic operators arithmetic operators are used to perform mathematical calculations like addition subtraction division multiplication and exponential the following table shows arithmetic operators used in qbasic operation operator example result addition a plus sign 5 plus 8 13 subtraction a minus sign 8 minus 6 2 multiplication a star sign 5 multiplied by 4 is 20 division sign a slash sign 8 by 2 is 4 integer division hash 9 hash 2 4 exponential above arrow 4 exponential 3 64 relational operators Relational operators are used to perform comparisons on two values of same type. A comparison of string data with numeric data cannot be done. The comparison of string data is done on the basis of ASCII value. The result of comparison is either true, non-zero or false, zero. The following table shows the relational operators used in QBasic. Operator Relation Example Equal to A is equal to B a dollar sign is equal to b dollar sign greater than a is greater than b deer is more than rabbit less than 
A is less than B. Rabbit is smaller than deer. Greater than or equal to. A is greater than equal to B. X dollar sign greater than equal to Y dollar sign. Less than or equal to. A is less than equal to B. X dollar sign is less than equal to Y dollar sign. Not equal. A dollar sign is less than more than B dollar sign. X is less than more than Y. Logical operators. Logical operators are used to combine two or more relational expressions which can then be evaluated to return a single value which will be either true or false. They are and or not. Tick the correct option.